Hi guys, it's Erin from Marin's Art Studio. Oh, how nice to be laughing about something. Jen just made me laugh. So we are closed, as you know, the studio is closed, but we will be here every day except for Sunday from 12 to five and on Saturday, 12 to four. Um, we're just sitting here just in case people want to pick up their finished items. Perfect. Give us a call. We'll leave it outside or just leave it. There's a, um, a table right there in the front, which I've decided that's where people are going to pick up and drop off. Let us know that you're here. You can open the door, pick up your item, or pick up your to-go kit, which is why we're making this vid video. We are offering to-go kits. So um, another studio is doing doing surprise to-go kits with three non-functional -funct figurines, which you can paint with any paint at home if you have any at home, or you can paint it with our glazes and then bring it back to be fired, um, just so you know. But all of the functional items like plates, bowls, and mugs, we have dinner plates and, and salad plates and bowls and mugs and... Um, so those are functional and have to be fired and have to be painted with our glazes. These are our glazes. They are non-toxic. On here you can see it. You probably can't see it because it's really far away. But if you want, I will text you the colors that I'm giving out. I'm giving red, yellow, orange, green, blue, purple, and a white and a black. You can add a little bit of white to anything to make it lighter if you want to and you act, you can add a little bit of black to make it darker all of the colors will come out darker than what you see on your plate so here is a plate that's been painted with those colors and then this is what it looks like when they're glazed and fired so it's really important to know that you don't have to keep on putting paint on or glaze on and on and on thinking oh my god it hasn't gotten shiny yet it's not gonna get shiny until it gets fired. Here's what it looks like when we do three coats or one coat, one coat, two coats, and three coats. It's just up to you. It doesn't matter what you do, which way. Nothing's right or wrong when you're using the glazes. The only thing that is wrong, well, actually, hold on, I'll get to that. Here's what it looks like, a beautiful shiny white. Anything you don't paint will come out a beautiful shiny white. What's very important is, oh, I forgot my paper towel. So if you're rinsing your brushes in the water, you don't have to rinse them for us. When you bring them back, just bring them back, back dirty. We are going to sanitize them in bleach when you bring them back. Thank you. I have, it's magically appeared. <laughs> paper towel. Anyway, this is what I would do. If I were working at home, I would have my brush and I'll dab it on this paper towel just to to after I rinsed it so it doesn't get too watery. But of course, and then use a paper plate or something like that to put your paints on. No, actually you don't even need that because I'm giving you these little cups of paint. Please don't bring them back unless you don't use a color at all, then you could just bring that back, but we'd rather you didn't at all, okay? We're trying to keep everybody safe and we're trying to stay safe as well. Um, on When you get your plate, or whatever piece you do, if you're bringing it back to us, please write your name very lightly. It's on the directions that we're sending home with you. Please write your name very lightly in pencil on the back and we will go over it with a writer bottle in black. And then that way we'll know what, um, that it's yours. You will also get a yellow slip of paper that's going home with you. It's, um, Please bring that back as well so that we can track your pieces. The, the plates, bowls, and mugs are anywhere from $19 to $23 to $27, depending on what you're doing. The brush deposit is $5 per set of brushes. I'm going to be giving you a small brush, a medium brush. Where's the big brush? Oh, I used it. <laughs> big brush. So I'm going to give you two round brushes and a big brush and I'm going to give you a tiny little detail brush. This one you can keep, okay? Because we don't want to back because I by mistake bought 5,000 of them. Oh, 7,000 of them. 
<laughs> oh well. Underglaze only. Pardon? Underglaze only for those brushes. Oh, oh these, right. please don't use these brushes if you're gonna do any kind of acrylic painting. Use your own brushes. If you have your own brushes at home, you don't even need them for our glazes as long as they're really clean. You don't want any oil getting onto your plates or anything like that because it will resist the paint. I don't have a sample of what it looks like when it resists the paint, but it will, and it looks terrible. Um, so like, here's the thing that I did on a tile, kind of a mandala with a whole bunch of dots. You can use the back of your brushes if you're one of those dotters like me, but hopefully one of these days, push close there. Hopefully one of these days on, I will teach a class on Zoom or maybe I'll just record a class on YouTube. This is our first time, so just wish us luck and please let me know if it's wonderful. And of course, hey, everybody says subscribe if you want to, whatever, and give us a thumbs up if you like it. But hold on, let me just make sure I told you everything I needed to tell you. Oh, so if you get the figurines and then and you paint them with acrylic or gouache, gouache, I'm not sure how you say it in English, I know how to say it in Hebrew, or tempera paints, even watercolors might work. Our paints have to be fired, otherwise they'll just come off if you got it wet or anything on a figurine. Figurines are not food safe. I mean, figurines you're not gonna eat off of, so you don't have to worry about them being food safe, like these. Um, did I forget anything? I am going to, hmm, I don't think I said, forgot anything. What do you think, Jen? While you're there, let me see. So, of course, we'll be in, yeah, don't, don't use these glazes to paint anything other than your plate or your bowl or your mug or if you're going to do the figurines and they need to be fired, that's fine. When you bring them back to fire, just give us a call, open the door, put it down on the table over there. You'll know as soon as you walk in, there's a little tape, there's a big table and a spot for you to drop your things. Put the yellow tag inside. It's really important that you do that. Bring us back the brushes. We will put them in bleach water. And um, hopefully we will come through this. And I really appreciate it if you guys do these to-go kits. We're not perfect yet, but, but we're working on it. So I hope you guys are really staying safe, staying inside. Please take this really seriously. But, but don't be crazy about it because you're already doing what you can do by staying inside and by, what's it called when you stay inside? I forget. Quarantine. Quarantine. No, there's another word. Self, self what is it? Self distancing. Self distancing, besides that, yeah. Self distance, especially when you go into the supermarket. And if you go into a supermarket or something, go home and take a shower after you're done. As far as I'm concerned, that's what you should be doing, I guess. But anyway, we're gonna get through this. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting Aaron's Art Studio. 19 years. I just turned 19. Can you believe it? Um, wow. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And please stay safe. We love you. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.